Shit my pretty eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's get back into building in Planet Zoo. And today's speed build is gonna be a little bit of a mashup between a food shop counter build and a hard shelter for the doll sheep. So this is kind of a continuation from the past two builds or three builds wow of the 50s retro diner and the drive-in movie theater i really like how we left off last week with the drive-in all finished but i found that the other half of the habitat was lacking a little bit so i wanted to add in a bit more into this and add in a fun shop that's gonna match in really nice with the drive-in and it's gonna be like a concession stand for like a movie theater which is gonna be really fun but to start with i'm gonna do some rock placement always a favorite thing in planet zoo is playing around with rocks i borrowed the rocks from the beaver habitat and that was actually an ice cream shop <laughs> i like food themed things <laughs> so if you haven't seen the beavers ice cream shop i will put the link in the i cards for that video borrowing the rock placement from another habitat is a really good way of saving time especially if the terrain is kind of the same sort of shape this one wasn't necessarily the right shape for the terrain <laughs> so i had to move around a few of the rocks to kind of make them follow the shape of the terrain i always pick the rocks that match the terrain as well so these rocks match the biome so it'll match the rock terrain paint which might not actually be something that's like well known each different biome in planet zoo has different kind of terrain paint to them so like this is a tega biome zoo so i had to pick the tega biome rocks to match in with the rock terrain paint but uh if you pick like a map that's in more of a desert climate you'll have like more orangey kind of rocks especially if you pick like an australian map those ones are like really orange toned whereas these are more grey toned so you've got to make sure that you pay attention to what kind of biome you're in when you're building in this game to make sure that you are picking the right rocks for the terrain and for this area at the front of the diner i added a couple more cars in these are the cars from the drive-in they are by ah, i didn't prepare myself this time <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm nearing 600 hours on Planet Zoo now. <laughs> I totally got distracted there. I love looking at the most popular items in the last week just to see what happens in game. The cars that I'm using are the cars slash vehicle set by Darth Delicious. I really like these ones from the last build as well because they have been separated into different groups so it's like really really easy to recolor the cars now i've sorted out the rest of the habitat uh, i'm now starting up on building a concession stand for the drive-in and this is going to be quite multi-purpose it's going to work for a few different things it's going to be the hard shelter for the door sheep and it's going to be blocking off the view of the staff pathways between the doll's 50s habitat and the reindeer's christmas habitat i really wanted to block off some of the view of the christmas habitat from the diner so like the guests would see all of like the 50s themed things and not see this festive christmasy habitat and i never really worry about what the guests can see of like the staff things but it's also kind of nice to hide some of these pathways because this bit is just kind of dead space and adding in like a shop stops it kind of being 
empty space in the zoo and I'll add like a little bit behind the scenes. I built this already and I forgot to press record. So this is the second time I'm actually building this building. So I had a, an idea of what shape it was going to be and how I was going to lay it all out. Just found it funny that I built all of this and then realised that I wasn't recording so I had to redo it all. I had looked at a few reference images of like an entrance to a drive-in and concession stands to create this type of shape. So what I imagined is that the guests to the drive-in would drive through this sheltered area to buy their tickets and to grab their concessions and then drive around to the drive-in then. And speaking of concessions, I thought the Bertie's Bakes counter would make the most sense for a concession stand. And it is kind of my favourite shop. <laughs> I liked adding the Bertie's Bakes in because it was kind of sweet. Usually that's kind of the thing that I would get in a cinema. Sweet popcorn and maybe like a pick a mix. So I thought cupcakes would be the closest thing to that. And I've actually picked like a green colour scheme for this concession stand to match in with the Bernie's Bakes colours. Do I have to say the way that I've laid this out, it isn't actually technically usable because I haven't got a pathway connecting to the front of the counter, which is what you need for the guests to be able to order something from here. And I thought it was nice to play around with different shades of this like bluey green colour. Some parts like this, the walls are a very light green but some of the accent colours kind of go into more of a, a blue theme. It's kind of why I picked this cardigan to wear today because I have like green in the sleeve here and that's probably the most green I have in an outfit. And this is rainbow, this isn't even green, it's just a bit of fun really. I love playing around with matching my outfits to my builds or my videos. And I'm using the Bernie's Big signs for something that's not actually a cupcake again. I thought the bottom of the like the cupcake liner, cupcake case, looked like a classic box of popcorn. And then I used the small full stops from the like font lettering and recolored those different shades of yellow so I could kind of make it look like a big pile of popcorn. <laughs> From a distance I think this looks really effective. I wish we could like play around with things that were slightly smaller than this but there's just not a lot of small objects that we have in game. I would love just a whole pack of tiny clutter objects and I like to think that I'm really good at uh, spelling like that was one of my strong suits in school was spelling but I definitely wasn't risking spelling concessions wrong so I had the word up on my phone as I was writing that out because there's lots of C's and S's that I wasn't risking it. I know when I was younger and I had to have like spelling tests. Oh, Another one of these embarrassing stories, one of my tricks to just fucking get it out, <laughs> one of my tricks to uh, master certain spellings that were tricky like the word concessions would be to make a little jingle song out of them. <laughs> My mum would always make the best little jingles for uh, songs and sometimes certain words I will still hear the little jingle song in my head as I spell them out. And it's been like 15 years, so you can tell how catchy those jingles were. But I did really well in spelling tests, so it totally helped. Another little embarrassing quirk of my childhood. <laughs> but I definitely would have like made a little jingle to remember where I would be putting the C's and S's in concessions. And I've also created a little window for the ticket stand as well. I was playing around with the idea of trying to figure out the price that it would be for the ticket. I wasn't sure how much you would really have to pay and I was trying to like figure out how much of like the 
leaf what are they conservation credits how many conservation credits you you could charge for uh, an entrance into the drive-in and uh, I tried to compare it to how much you would pay for the animals and realize that there's not really a realistic price for an entrance to watch a film compared to buying an animal for a zoo. I don't even know how much I would charge for entrance into the entire zoo. Maybe it's free, you know, it's included in the price of the entrance to the zoo. You just need to grab a ticket from the staff member as you drive into the drive-in. This is gonna be for like a cinema sign where usually you would have like the advertisement of what film is being shown currently in the drive-in. And for the lettering, I'm using Ricey, Ricey's font again. It is my favorite font. It will be linked in the description. And if you do go into my Steam Workshop, it'll be in my favorites too, and you can find them in there too. If you've never used custom font before, Always place your font on the world axis and you can double check that you're on the world axis by either just immediately placing an item, it will automatically follow the world axis, so don't rotate it anyway. Or go into the advanced move and select like the refresh kind of symbol, it's like a, a circle with an arrow that will automatically rotate your objects or your group to align to the world axis. And then when you duplicate your letters to create your own sign, if they are not following the world axis, you can change the angle of your movement in the advanced move tool to follow world axis instead of following object axis, something like that. And I played around with the time because I thought if you go into a drive-in, you want to go at night time so you can see the screen, right? So I played around with the time in-game um, because I wanted to add a time when the show starts. So I thought I'd find like a really pretty sunset so you'd have like a, a beautiful purple sky behind you when you're watching the film and that is at nine o'clock at some point and I picked the 24 hour time because that's kind of what I'm used to. I thought there was a big empty space so to match it in with the rest of the habitat and match it in with the drive-in uh, I thought I would add a sign on this to link it all together with the same sort of technique that I used for the sign for the drive-in and this is going to be the last build in the winter themed section for the zoo and I'm not really sure what to do next whether to carry on with this zoo and build a new theme section so have like spring section of the zoo or start a completely new zoo so next week i was thinking while i try and plan out what i'm going to be doing in the future maybe we could have like a tour of the completed section now we have like two completed sections it might be nice to have a tour of the entire zoo so far whether we decide to finish in this zoo and start a new one or we decide to continue in this zoo and start a new section. It'll still be nice to have a tour of the two completed sections of the zoo. And using the New World individual bulbs was effective but like ridiculously bright <laughs> for the drive-in sign. So I thought to play around with it a bit more and make it maybe a little aged sign. Make it feel like it's kind of from the 50s. So I've switched off a few of the bulbs to make it less bright, but also kind of make it feel a little bit older. <laughs> Some of the bulbs have blown out on the sign. And I borrowed the arrow that I made on this <laughs> on last week's video as well to kind of show like 
this is where you go to drive into the drive-in. Is there another way of saying that other than just repeating drive-in twice? I don't know, but I, li I like the different angles that I had created with the arrow and it matches in nicely with the signs, even if I haven't got them in the same color scheme. I'm playing around with the editable signs as well. I like these vertical ones. I haven't played around with these much. I usually stick to the horizontal ones. These fit in really nicely with the more like narrow spaces. And I just had a sign that says drive in. Kind of self-explanatory, but it works. <laughs> I'm now putting in some education boards for the habitat for the doll sheep, doll sheep. I, I can't decide what I actually want to call these. I automatically say doll, but I think I've heard Frontier call them doll sheep and I've used the vintage red colour that's the main colour for the diner to match in with the diner too. There's lots of different like colours, we usually stick to one, but I thought it'd be a bit fun not to stick to just red and the green building really stands out really nicely but also matches in with the trees and foliage I've put around it. I thought because we have like the massive Missy Good screen, I didn't want to put too many education screens down to block off the view of the drive-in. I know no one's gonna sit in these cars, but I like the fact that the cars can technically see the screen. So I just used the education speakers rather than the education boards. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're onto the pretties now. This is the end of winter. This could very well be the end of this zoo as well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether we're going to be getting a new DLC soon either. I'm kind of conscious of that because I know the Europe pack just pounced on me and I wasn't all ready for it. <laughs> but I still have a couple of American and European pack animals to build habitats for as well. I still haven't done the badger and the California sea lion so they could be in a new zoo they could be in a new section of this zoo i don't know we're gonna do a little bit of a tour next week i think just to see test it out a, bit, a little bit do i continue in this zoo um do i not i don't know yet i'd like your input too and it also give me a little bit more of a rejuvenation for my creativity seeing what i've done so far maybe because this is actually the 19th part of this zoo yeah so the tour would be the 20th part and that actually means that this is the longest series build series so far it's taken over africa and my africa zoo was huge it always gets to this point when i'm like i I don't know any new things. I'm running out of ideas and I don't want to make mediocre things. That is not fun to watch and not fun to build. So, but if you have any ideas for American or European animals, let me know in the comments too. And let me know whether you want to see a new zoo or you want to see a new section of this zoo as well. But I'm going to leave it off there. If you enjoyed this concession stand build, well, a bit of everything really, <laughs> multi-purpose building, uh, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and sometimes you have a bonus Saturday video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.